their portfolio company, uh, New Kids on the Block, called Kinu, and this is one of the co-founders, George Henna. Welcome to EcoSummit. Thank you very much, Jan. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm George Hanna, co-founder and co-CEO from Kinus. Kinus is Berlin-based, and we manufacture energy storage solutions for the commercial, public, and industrial sector. So let me introduce you first to our business idea. If you look at so-called island grids, those are electricity grids either placed on an island or on remote areas, powering communities, resorts, hotels, small, mid-sized or large factories such as mines, and, uh, for example, fish farms, then you will see that most or many of these island grids are fueled by diesel gensets, with the disadvantage of very high electricity prices, of uh, noise, pollution, and depending on the logistics situation of that site, uh, maybe electricity availability because the diesel doesn't reach the site in time. So how to overcome this issue at renewables? Well, that's a good start. They have a very low electricity price as compared to diesel, one third of the electricity price or less depending on the site. They are quiet, they are non-pollutant, but there is another issue coming up. That is how to integrate these renewable energy sources into the grids. Um, especially if you want to have a high share of renewable energy sources, then integration starts to become a problem because you may not all the time need the energy when it's there, wind blowing or sun, or you have the energy when you don't, uh, uh, sorry, you need energy and there is no wind and sun. So, this is where Kinus kicks in. With our solution, we smartly integrate renewables by having a cost-competitive energy storage solution with an embedded smart energy management system. Well, is there a market for such so-called hybrid grids? Well, the principal thing that has to be achieved is a viable business case. And this situation is given since few years because cost of electricity from diesel generators is now much higher as compared to cost of uh, sun combined with energy storage solutions. But nevertheless, is the volume enough? Well, the principal market is already there since several years. If you look at the diesel generator market, we had, for example, in the year 2012, a market of 47 gigawatt peak of newly installed um, diesel gensets. That is equivalent to a power of roughly 47 nuclear power plants. If we now look at the Kino segment, which means a power range of roughly 100 kilowatt to 1 megawatt and diesel generators running 24-7, then with a careful estimate, we still have a market, annual market of 5 gigawatts per year with an increasing trend. Well, and this is not the only market where our product can fit in. There are also the markets for the off-grid segments, uh, uh, sorry, for the weak grid segments. That means uh, places where the grid is not available for several hours a day. And there is also now slowly but securely coming up new market uh, niches and even larger markets in the on-grid segment. I think Son and Battery has told you some about that for the residential market. And here we would look at some viable business models in the near future on the on-grid market for the commercial, public, and industrial sector. So coming back to our product, what do we do at Kinus? We are actually filling a gap in the market of energy storage solutions. And the gap is right in the middle between the battery suppliers. Here we see rising manufacturing volumes, such as Tesla coming up with the gigawatt factory in a few years. Samsung and LG and others have large manufacturing sites thanks to e-mobility. And the rising number of end customers with valuable business models. But there is something missing in the middle. And that is someone who takes all the good components in the market, 
combine them with a very good system control and software, and then bringing that all together to a reliable but nevertheless cost competitive uh, solution with an energy management system that is reliable, plug and play, standardized for low cost, and very importantly, easily scalable, meaning you can easily add another container if you need more power. And that is what we bring in together with some special features. We have two different types of battery that we can use. One perfectly suited for high power, another one, novel battery technology from the United States, perfectly suited for cost competitive, high storage capacities. And our container can be used everywhere in the world because we have an enclosed concept, climatized, so you can use it on the shore on the Philippines, islands, or you can use them also in northern Canada in the cold. We were very lucky that we were able to form, uh, in our opinion, at least very strong team in the very short time of our existence. Uh, that combines decades of experience in what we mainly need, and that is knowledge of about battery technology, knowledge about the grids, the electrical grids and the related technologies there, apart from other things. So, uh, we have started our company actually in the year 2013, end of last year. We have found two investors uh, who have provided us now with the seed funding. One of them is the investment bank Berlin. So at that point, thank you again, Mr. Schulte and, uh, Schulze and Mr. Zeller for this great support that you give to Kinus. And well, what we have done with the money so far, we have realized our first sales and turnover of more than 100,000 euros, which is a great start for us in the few months. And this project is already now being delivered to the customer and is now being commissioned and installed in the next two weeks. And we have set up or we are setting up a complete microgrid test site with a unique world, unique uh, prototype of the Kinus product that combines these two types of technologies that I mentioned. So here we can test our products uh, for any type of special situation that may occur in off-grids or on-grids and assure that the performance is always right. Well, what are we looking for in the future with regards to funds? Well, in our market, we have one issue, and that is the issue that anyone has in the renewable energies, that you have to pay your electricity up front for 20 years. That is something that our customers don't like that much. So what we're looking for is our partners, being it leasing companies or investors who are interested in financing the projects of our customers so that they can continue to pay monthly rates as they're used to with the diesel gen sets. Well, starting from next year, we, are, we will look for strategic investors uh, who will help us accelerating our growth. So, thank you very much. Now I look forward to your questions. Thank you, George. You're welcome. Thanks. Do you have a question for George? If yes, please raise your hand. Can you tell us where you did your uh, first installment, the first customer? Is it inside Germany, outside Germany, off-grid, really off-grid? Actually, the first, yeah, the first customer is in Germany. As I mentioned, these on-grid applications have become more important that, than we initially thought. So this will be delivered into the Saarland area. Yeah. And who is making the battery system that you are selling? Who is making it? Well, uh, those are... At the very moment, large-scale Korean manufacturers. Uh, they make the case, whole system, you design it, and they um, They supply us the supply. battery cells yeah. that we then combine with the right inverters, with the right system control, management software, etc. So, so in the end, you put, put it together here in, in Berlin? We put it together in Berlin or nearby Berlin, right. All right, question from Eva. Hi, my name is Eva, and Hi. I'm uh, in uh, Ocean Shore Ventures in California. Mm -hmm. So we've invested in an energy storage company there. And what we see is a value is 
um, companies like yours that can be technology agnostic. So where you don't only represent a battery from Korea, but you're open to whatever your customer wants. So let's say it's a large um, utility company, they have a solar power plant, and they want to integrate uh, battery as well. If that customer is able to say to you, we would like a redox flow battery instead of a lithium ion battery because of safety, is that something that you could do? Do you want to become a complete solution where you're more flexible on the technology, or do you want to only represent a few? Well, we've already started with that. As said, we have two different types of battery technologies, one coming from Korea, another one coming from the US, which is a very innovative type of battery, non-toxic and high temperature resistant. It's not a redox flow battery, though. And yes, we consider ourselves as a solution provider, but what we do upfront is really an intensive test of these battery uh, cells technology, because that is something that many people do not think of when they think about energy storage solutions. They think, well, you can just use the cells and they will deliver whatever is written on the data sheet, which is not at all the case. So one of the inputs that we give to our customers is that we thoroughly use our battery technology to assure that whatever the customer is expecting, that he will really get it. Okay. So another question, even though you're based in Berlin, are you able to, um, to service customers in Africa? There's a big interest of combining solar and storage in several countries there. Um, have you thought about that? Well, these countries are actually our core markets because these off-grid markets that I mentioned where you have the diesels running 24 hours a day or looking at the future, if you look at villages that do not yet have electricity at all, these are exactly in those markets. And this is why we have designed our product as such that we may manufacture it here in Germany, but then it's all ready to be shipped right to the places. And there you don't have to start doing all this complex work of putting the different components together, and then you may have forgotten a screw, and then you have to take the ship for five hours in order to get the missing screw. We put everything together, we test it here thoroughly, then we ship it out so that the installers in these countries simply have to plug in the PV, the grid, and the communication lines, and then the system runs. And they get the data through our monitoring system. So that is the basic principle product idea that we have. Yeah. Thank you for saying that, and based upon what you said, then it is smaller systems. It's not megawatt hour type of storage then. It is. We start at the power of 30 to 50 kilowatt and 30 to 50 kilowatt hours, and then we can go up to the megawatt scale because there are a lot of off-grid applications where you also need more power. And so this is the range we are acting in, but we are not going to the smaller systems, which is more residential. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you as well. You may want to pay, pitch to her later on even more. Okay, I will do so. final round of applause for George. Thank you. Thank you also. <laughs> Thank you.